The convergence of the health ministers is to further evolve ways of tackling the rising health challenges in the West African sub-region. In the face of communicable disease like Ebola, malaria, meningitis, among others, acting president Yemi Osibanjo said there is the need for health ministers in ECOWAS sub-region to chart a path for quality medical care for people. The vision of the founding fathers to see a harmonized, unified response to the expanding health challenges of our sub-region has proved to be a daunting one. And this is understandably so. Differences in language and systems and procedures have thrown up peculiar difficulties. With a population of about 365 million, the region has similarities of disease burden. All the countries have huge burdens of malaria, HIV AIDS, tuberculosis, some tropical diseases and other newly emerging diseases, the likes of Ebola and Lassa fever. These combined with poverty and malnutrition have thrown up public health challenges of immense proportions for the individual nations and, of course, the West African Health Organization itself. Tiba Anjo promised the commitment of Nigeria to ensure the smooth take-off of the proposed regional center for disease control in West Africa. The establishment of the Regional Center for Disease Control and Prevention, RCDC, is therefore an excellent idea in building capacity and ensuring effective surveillance detection and prompt response to disease outbreaks such as this. Nigeria is committed to giving the necessary support towards ensuring the adequate takeoff of the RCDC. I will urge this regional institution to consider as of prime importance the vehicle for delivering health interventions, the health systems. No effort should be spared by the region in ensuring that strong, resilient health systems exist at country levels. Poverty, language differences and obsolete medical facilities are identified as the bane of the West African health sector. And the health minister says that establishing a regional center for disease control is in line with vision of the founding fathers of ECOWAS of providing quality medical care for over 300 million inhabitants of West African countries.